Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at Synthfest 2022 in Sheffield. I'm with Martin from Enjoy Electronics. Yes, Hello, and Martin. Simon, the boss. The oh, Simon, Godfather. the boss. <laughs> when we talk about the boss in this context, we're talking about the boss, man, because okay. this is yeah. the Godfather. Yeah, this is the Godfather. It's a, a real factor for uh, your semi-modular system. So we can create something different, something real power, and you can... Uh, uh, Ida is the, the creative multi-effect engine with four input channels and a big creative uh, multi-effect section uh, and uh, a, a really, a really interesting uh, mixing session too, also uh, with LFOs, two build LFO, internal build, uh, LFOs, also CVU input, output, MIDI input and output, four uh, input channels and four audio channels also, output channels. So, so what sort of effects does it have on board? Yeah, uh, we have uh, saturator, delays, uh, double pulse delays, our, uh, our uh, really crazy and uh, mind-blowing kind of delay, reverb and filters. And also uh, compressor, uh, pan and stereo width, uh, double pulse position, filter on double pulse, filter on the reverb and gain staging also. So a lot of uh, possibilities with uh, uh, you can assign, for example, tr trigger button to LFOs or each parameters you want on the LFOs. So it's really like, a, like a, the concept of a multi effects, but kind yes. of reinvented for yes. Eurorack. Yes, we are trying to, to reinvent the concept of uh, approaching to the machine because we are trying to, to make some creative machine, you know, uh, we want to um, we want a, mach a playable multi-effect engine, like a, really like a, a synthesizer, not, not more like a, a, multi a simple multi-effects, you know. And not like a guitar effect either. We won't either. play on, the, on our uh, multi-effect engine, yeah. Excellent. So, um, it's largely analog, is it, or mostly digital? No, it's, majorly, uh, it's D DSP inside, it's totally digital. Uh, we are working on finalized software. Uh, Simon is the developer, and so uh, also the graphics. Uh, you see, uh, we are uh, we are working a lot on software, and uh, we hope to finalize the product at the end of the November. Uh, we did a, a crowdfunding champagne uh, two months ago, and we sold out all the units in 90 minutes. Wow. So we are uh, really happy of this, and we are hope to to sell the 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 products uh, very soon. So what sort of patching capabilities do you have? Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe uh, the batch the batch capabilities. No, pa patching. Ah, patching capabilities, sorry. <laughs> uh, CBU input and output, four CBU input and output, four audio input and output, four uh, gate and MIDI in and MIDI output. So a lot of possibilities is completely assignable uh, using the menu and uh, you can assign for each parameters you want so you can receive and and uh, put outside a lot of uh, a lot of signals incredible so i'm hoping yeah. you'll give us a quick demo in a moment but yeah. before that i mean how soon will it be available and how much is it going to cost uh I, we in hope uh, we open in, uh, in december night patch uh at, at the end of the november and will cost something like 1150 euros Impressive. Right, well, thank you very much, Martin. It's been great thank to you meet too, you. Guys. And, um, thank you, um, too, guys. Show us what it can do. Yes, of course. So, guys, uh, when I walk through on the machine, the Godfather, so we have uh, these, uh, these dry signals. Now we start to processing. Okay. We are working on a mixing uh, section. We have pan for each channel, so you can decide uh, the position of each of each channels and also the stereo width independently for each channels okay setting like this also compression mode for each channels you can set the threshold and we can see with the LEDs how the compression works for each channels on the bus also gain staging you can see the level, you can set the gain. Now we are working on the multi-effect engine. 
using saturators for channels, delay, we can set the, the delay time globally. or for each channel, or independently. Or for example, for a one and three, you can set the offset also to create stereophonic atmospheres. Now zero. Now we can create double pulse position with double pulse. to create grooving on the delay, different grooving, a lot of possibility of create grooving on the machine. Reverb send, reverb size, amount, and we have also a high pass, high resonator filter on the reverb. Filter for each channel. Low pass mode and high pass mode. Different time. LFOs. We should, uh, we have two built in LFOs on board. LFO number one is destination for overdrive on the channel number two, for example. And also for the channel for the LFO number number two, different different waveform, different time, different channel for different uh, parameters. So now, for example, you can start to create uh, different time. And you can assign, uh, for example, in the channel number one feedback to infinite mode. I can put the channel, I can switch on the 100, red LEDs, I recording something like this. Okay. I recorded a loop on my channel. This is a loop. I can move the sides of time. Now, within an infinite loop. I can come back. Now, in bypass mode, we can hear uh, the dry sound and we can uh, really appreciate the power of the machine. Thank you.